Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed since last time. Benghazi there, Dungazi that. Month after month, hearing after hearing, witness after witness, and still nothing that serves up President Obama's head on a platter. In fact, the longer they drag out this Benghazi investigation, the worse congressional Republicans are making themselves look. Last week, the White House finally released its Benghazi-related emails, and it turns out that quotations previously released to the press from those emails by Republicans had been altered from the original versions. You know, a lot of these guys might have a real problem recognizing irony, but they practice it just fine. The IRS versus the Tea Party. But never mind about Benghazi. This, this is the real red meat. Or should I say dark meat? It seems the IRS has been applying some undue scrutiny to right-wing groups that have applied to it for tax-exempt status as social welfare organizations. Look, I get why people are so upset about this. I mean, for once, it seems like the outrage emanating from the right is at least somewhat justified. It's been my understanding that a lot of these 501c4 organizations are a bit iffy, often behaving much more like partisan super PACs than the apolitical civic organizations they're supposed to be. The mistake the IRS made was selecting against a particular political viewpoint, when really, many of them, regardless of political viewpoint, are probably guilty of these sorts of infractions. Having said that, though, one of the red flags the IRS was looking for was the phrase Tea Party in an organization's name. Is it really that scandalous that a group naming itself after the most famous tax protest in American history would attract the attention of the IRS? And if it is that scandalous, at least it won't be lonely. After all, last week was Scandal Week at the White House! There was the IRS scandal, there was the revelation that the Justice Department had subpoenaed phone records from the Associated Press, there was that crazy shit about the Justice Department losing track of two terrorists in witness protection? I mean, what the fuck is going on over there? Congressional Republicans scheduled yet another futile vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act, but I don't know how they were able to obtain a quorum in the House of Representatives, what with most of their caucus slumped over at their desks in bliss comas. And I didn't even mention the Obama administration's most egregious crime of all, Beckgate. Glenn Beck responded to reports of these federal fuck-ups by doing what he does best, making it all about him. It's a new kind of politics. It's the Chicago kind. I have witnessed this firsthand, and um, America watched it happen. The administration launched multiple attempts to destroy me and my company beginning in 2009. The flaw I detect in Glenn's logic is this. Why would the White House go through the effort of orchestrating a conspiracy to bring him down? True, it took a little while for his audience and his sponsors and eventually his employers at Fox News to realize that he was a bomb-throwing attention whore who's more trouble than he's worth, but they did eventually realize it in due time. And the only person necessary to lead them to that conclusion was Glenn Beck. Disney World line jumpers rent disabled people. Last week, reports surfaced of wealthy Disney World visitors hiring disabled people to pretend to be their family members so they could ride on the most popular rides in the park without having to stand in line for hours with everyone else. There's apparently this thriving black market connecting interested would-be Disney visitors with disabled people willing to guide them through the park at rates of up to $130 an hour. So good for them. I guess. But part of me can't help but think that these rich assholes are making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Not that I'm condoning line jumping in any way, but if you're willing to do something like that, why not just put your own kid on a bread and water diet for two weeks leading up to the Disney trip, maybe keep him out of the sun, and then when you get there, just tell people that he's got cancer or something. I mean, how are they going to know? I reckon it would work. I mean, are they going to have some chick dressed up like Jessica Rabbit from Tummy Trouble come and draw blood? The hardest part is only... The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.